Hello my dear listeners my name is Kishor Ganesh and in this episode of the Vocal About Visuals podcast I'll be reviewing the latest from whatever the DC movie universe is calling itself now The Flash starring Ezra Miller Michael Keaton Sasha Kal and a ton and I do mean a ton of celebrity cameos The Flash is based on one of the most interesting and important stories in the DC mythology and a personal favorite of mine, the Flashpoint series. And I'm not going to reveal literally anything here in this review because one, that's not my style and two, DC from what I've heard has done a banger of a job doing just that in their trailer. I say heard because I deliberately didn't watch the trailer before I watched the film. So heading blind into the film, the first thing that I felt personally was I don't know a mild undercurrent of chaos that existed in all aspects of the film from the dialogues the editing the pacing i'm not saying this as a complaint though because it is quite fitting for a superhero like flash who's the ultimate speedster he's fast jittery and chaotic by nature of his pass so i think the style of the film suits the nature of the superhero now is this just me reading way too much into the film i don't know If you felt the same let me know via twitter or comments or something would love to hear from you guys about this one of the biggest positives of this film is Ezra Miller who for the most part has to single handedly pull this film from start to finish it kind of makes me wonder all the things that this actor can accomplish provided all the real world issues are sorted out his casting as the flash is one of the few things that dc has done correctly in its quest to create a cinematic universe the universe might have crashed and burned but the flash survives because well james gunn agrees with me but will ezra allow that to happen only time will tell the other casting choices in this film are thankfully top notch with michael keaton and sasha kal doing a bang up job in their relatively brief time on screen the film to its credit also lands the emotional blows right on the money and you do feel the pathos of the flash character I also like the kind of cartoon like quality of DC CG which is either a stylistic choice or it saved DC some budget or both Coming to the things that didn't work for me the first and the most major one is the flip side of the chaotic undercurrent of the film which is this film doesn't have the time to settle from start to finish it is in a state of motion and doesn't rest or linger even one of the most emotional scenes towards the end of the film this film instead of wrapping up the emotional scene has the flash leaving it midway and executing his quote and quote mission i mean you could have said goodbye properly bro and then done whatever you had to do you will get what i'm talking about once you watch the film the second gripe i have is which is also my closing thoughts about the film is that the flash point is a very rich story that could and should have been mined to create a movie that should have been a straight home run the tear down and rebuild potential of the story along with how rewarding it is from the emotional and imagination standpoints means that the live action movie from such a great source should not be a middling movie like how the flash has ended up here it is not bad by any means but i'm quite sad to say that it is indeed a one time watch only and that is not fitting of the flashpoint storyline let's see what james gunn does with dc going forward once again my name is kishor ganesh this is the vocal about visuals podcast and thank you my dear listeners for your time and for listening please do give this podcast a follow on your preferred podcast platforms and on youtube thank you